Today's video from Sam Forrest Help. We're taking a look at X reports you can run on the ER180U register. Um, so, a quick explanation most cash registers will allow you to do X and Z reports. The critical difference between the two is that X is read and Z is reset. So, if you run an X report and a Z report, they'll look virtually identical. If you run them at the same time, you'll get exactly the same information uh, on them. The only difference is the X report is designed as a shift change report or a uh, flash report to see how you're doing during a trading period. The Z report is a reset report designed to run at the end when you're closing down that day's transactions. So if you run an X report, the till sales don't reset, they keep adding up. If you run a Z report, you get the same information, but the report is then cleared down for the following day. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do a, uh, an X1 report, so a read report on the ER180. The simplest report you can actually run is uh, to display how much money has been taken so far today. Uh, to do that, you go to the read mode by pressing the mode button until it says read. Normally you'd be in reg, so you should just need to press it once to go into read. And then if you press the cash button, you get a total appear of what you've taken so far today. I say today, and what that means is that's providing that someone ran a Z report yesterday. So when you run your Z report, it wipes it down, and then the X report taken the following day is from the point you wiped the till down. To print the um, X report out properly, clear that, and then press one, followed by subtotal. The cash drawer fires and the report prints out the front. So I'll give you an idea of, I'll show you the X report and then in my next video I'll show you the Z report. So the reports are all dated and timed, so you've got the time there and then the date. You've got X1 report, financial, and then it splits your sales down by department. So my departments are goods, service, miscellaneous, fuel, lottery. You then get a department total. Um, you then get your sales split by tax if you've got tax programmed on the machine. All non-standard transactions are recorded, so returns, any transactions in the void mode are shown on there. And then you get the sales split by cash in drawer and charge in drawer. So on this machine, I'm using cash sales is obviously my cash sales, and then charge in drawer is um, credit card payments taken. So if we just quickly press the cash button again you can see the 59038 on the display is the same as the cash in drawer there so that when you run that report or you show that report on screen that is your cash total for so far today okay i hope that video has been helpful We've got plenty more videos showing you uh, the different reports you can run some of those will be appearing on screen now uh, so you're welcome to check those out you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more Thanks for watching.